Hello everyone, that's tuning in to Snowwatch. So we've got snow moving now across the country at the moment. It's a wintry mix, rain, sleet, snow. Snow where I am in North Ants at the moment. Uh, not amounting to very much so far. Uh, but it's snowing quite moderately. Um, I will see this pushing into the southeast through the course of this evening. Could give a little uh, covering of snow in a few places, particularly on high ground. But we're really focusing on Thursday to Friday for the chance of quite a significant snow event and i'm going to talk you through all of the latest uh updates on the bottles uh right now just to say that today's two videos have been released so far uh so we have the east end 30 day look ahead this morning or early this afternoon and then we have the week to 10 day video update that's on the home page and uh it takes into next week a lot of uncertainty about next week's weather and whether it's going to turn milder Right, so let's get on with Snowwatch. We're at netweather.tv with a radar for tonight because uh, it's just showing up that rain, sleet, snow divide a little bit better than uh, at the weather outlook. So we've got this band of precipitation lying through the northeastern parts, being down through the Midlands to central southern England. A few showers are breaking out in the southeast as well. If I turn on the precipitation type, uh, so you can see we've got patchy light rain sort of into the southeast. So this green area is sleet and rain. Uh, so rain, snow, kind of like sleety stuff. And then where we've got the pink uh, and red colours there, that's snow. So snowing through much of northern England down into the Midlands, some parts of uh, southwestern England too. Uh, and this is all going to push eastwards overnight tonight, taking, or oh, this evening, taking rain, sleet and snow into East Anglia, southeast parts of England. It'll clear out into the North Sea. You can see we've got lots of snow showers packing in to western Scotland and Northern Ireland. And they'll keep going, giving accumulations of snow in some places tonight. As the sky clears, it's going to go very cold. So, um, probably in the morning, won't be so much from snow, I don't think, but uh, really from sort of frozen slush. And, uh, and uh, wet roads going to freeze up. So could be a real ice rink in the morning on untreated roads and pavements. If you're off out at about early tomorrow, then uh, do take care on those uh, roads and pavements. It will be quite hazardous. So then we're looking into the second half of the week. This is the facts chart. It's the human interpretation of models by forecasters at the UK Met Office facts chart for tomorrow, midday tomorrow. And a quiet today. We have got these little systems in the north, which will bring snow showers into the north. But otherwise, it's a quiet today, but it will be uh, a cold day. That's midnight on Wednesday to Thursday. Low pressure's deepening then in the Atlantic. And it's these occluded fronts we're watching out for, pushing into this cold air that's sitting over the country. Could be a severe frost, though, on Wednesday night. Temperature's probably going to minus double digits in some northern parts of the country. That's a facts chart for midday on Thursday. I've got a very deep area of low pressure just out to the southwest of Ireland. It's throwing up these fronts, these occluded fronts. They're running into that cold air. So this is a perfect recipe for snow as these occluded fronts hit the cold air. Uh, so midday on um, Thursday, we see that got this weather front across southwestern central southern parts in, bringing snow in towards the southwest. We'll turn back to rain as it turns a little bit uh, milder through the afternoon. That's midnight on Friday. You see that occluded front is kind of like across central parts of England and Wales. <coughs> Excuse me. It could well be producing heavy outbreaks of snow across those central parts of England and Wales through Thursday and into Friday. In the far south, it probably turns back uh, to rain. And Scotland, Northern Ireland, and much of Northern England at the moment, looks like it's going to stay out of trouble, staying mainly dry and cold. By the time we get through to midday on uh, Friday, so that first run is sort of dying a death, but it's probably still producing light snow across some eastern parts of England. And this next front, we've a bit of a milder air mass, probably bringing rain in towards the more southern coast there as that pushes northwards through the course of Friday. By the time you get through to Saturday, the low pressure is all moving away to the east, leaving us in these cold northerly winds. That cold air digs back in to the south on uh, Saturday. You could see some of the rain turning back to snow uh, then. 
So let's see how the uh, computer models are dealing with things. This is, first of all, is the GFS. So this is how GFS is forecasting things to be at uh, 9 o'clock this evening. There's the band of rain, sleet and snow moving through, through the Midlands, from the Midlands in towards southeastern parts of the country. Into the early hours, that snow pushes away, turns mainly dry, but uh, becomes freezing cold. And notice it is lingering a little bit across parts of East and East and South East thing. I'm not sure about that. Um, but if it does, it might produce a centimetre or two of snow in the far South East. But the main thing is the snow showers into the North West and most places turning freezing cold overnight and very icy. A quiet today tomorrow. Snow showers peppering means northern and western coast, but many places having a dry but, but cold day uh, despite the sunshine. I mean, a really hard frost tomorrow night, maybe a loc locally severe frost over the snow fields up in the north. Into Thursday, here comes that wet weather into the southwest, it's into Ireland, the far southwest of England at midday. On Thursday, and that just pushes northwards and eastwards as we go uh, through the course of Thursday afternoon. So snow turning up across much of Ireland into Wales, southwest, and turning back to rain in the far southwest as the morning air begins to dig in. And then into Thursday evening, snow through much of Wales and Midlands, the south of northern England. Doesn't get much further north than that, so snow, a proper snow event here through the Midlands into parts of East England, I would have thought 10 centimetres snow is possible there. Uh, that's four inches. Rain coming into the south as this snow gets a little bit stuck across parts of northern England, probably dies out as it does so. And then this rain starts to push up from the south, perhaps turning back to snow through parts of Wales of the Midlands on Friday evening for it all sort of sort of dies away into uh, Saturday. Saturday has wintry showers uh, penciled in, I think, with the uh, GFS acquired today for Sunday. This is the high resolution up there. As you go wrap the weather outlook for uh, this, you can find a link to all the websites in this video on the links page. Now, a pair is showing much more of a wintry mix through parts of uh, the East Midlands, Lincolnshire, East Anglia, South East England at nine o'clock this evening. And I think a pair has probably been a little bit more conservative about the snow event today, so it poss possibly is, uh, is the model that's come out on top to uh, some degree. Now, into tomorrow, much quieter today. Snow showers will be in the north and west, which it doesn't pick up all that well. Uh, but uh, most places have acquired today. Then we have a very cold night tomorrow night into Thursday. I mean, here comes that wet weather up from the southwest, turning to snow across Wales as we get through into Thursday afternoon. And then that carries on pushing north and eastwards, turning to widespread and heavy snow across much of Wales and the Midlands through Thursday. And again, that could well give 10 centimetres, four inches of snow on Thursday evening through Wales and the Midlands. Notice it doesn't get as far north as the GFS is getting it. It gets kind of like the North Midlands and then pretty much dies to death. We start to bring milder air and rain into the south and southwest, but possibly that go, uh, starts to turn to snow as it pushes northwards through Friday morning across parts of particularly Wales and the West Midlands further east. It looks more like uh, it's rain. And then we go into Saturday again. That has a look of wintry showers about it, particularly in eastern parts of the country. This is the DWD Icon model. Again, it's showing the snow in the southeastern corner at nine o'clock this evening, perhaps a little bit um, over the top compared to our page and compared to reality, but there will be snow into the southeast uh, this evening. That snow clears away, it doesn't linger. Uh, as much as the GFS has it, clears away into the North Sea through the early hours. It turns cold and icy, much quieter today uh, than tomorrow with a freezing cold night on um, Wednesday night into Thursday. The wet weather moving in from the Atlantic across Ireland, southwest England through Thursday morning, and then that pushes northwards and eastwards. Look at that really heavy snow there through Wales in towards some central southern parts of England, away from the south coast. And moving into minutes again, you could well expect 10 centimetres, 4 inches of snow from that quite wide. Even on low ground, this is a much more, uh, a much greater chance of a genuine snow event, I think, through the course of Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening compared to today. And again, this is 9 o'clock in the evening on Thursday, really heavy snow through Wales 
into the Midlands, which is central southern, even in southeastern parts of England. It might be a little bit over the top, but I think Thursday has greater potential for disruptive snow compared to today. That's midnight on Friday, snowing widely through Wales and Midlands into East Anglia. And then into Friday itself, that pushes northwards and sort of dies out across the northern parts of England. Perhaps a suggestion of a bit more snow coming into parts of northern England and Wales uh, during the course of Saturday, with rain further towards the Midlands and the eastern England. Not sure about that at this stage. Uh, and then cold air is digging back in from the north then, of course. This is Halam. Now, we don't really get to uh, Thursday very well with Halam. We finish at midday on uh, Thursday. So it's showing a band of wintry weather moving across the Midlands into some uh, southeastern parts of the country through the course of this evening and overnight tonight. Turns frosty and icy. Then a quiet today, tomorrow freezing cold, tomorrow night into Thursday. And then in comes the wet weather from the west during Thursday morning. As far as we can get with her lamb, it's to one o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. Heavy snow through Wales into the far southwestern part of England. WRF looks like that. So again, there's that band of rain, sleet and snow moving out of the Midlands to parts of their eastern England through the course of tonight. Could give a covering of snow in some areas, but it clears out quite quickly. Then frosty and icy. A quiet today. Tomorrow will be snow showers in the north and west, which again, these models never pick up snow showers very well, but they will be there. Um, and then a freezing cold night on Wednesday night into Thursday, minus double digits is possible into Thursday. Here comes the snow into the southwest. So this is at 7 o'clock in the evening on Thursday. Heavy snow through Wales, parts of southwest and central southern England as well. Carries on moving northwards into the Midlands and some southeastern parts being definitely enough there to give a covering of snow. Uh, for it sort of pushes up into northeastern parts of England and kind of dies out. Uh, during the course of Thursday. Uh, the ECMWF is a new website. This is uh, tameteo.com. Uh, so the ECMWF is updated as we were speaking. I was, I was hoping to be able to show you this um, and not show you whether .us with the snow depth maps. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think this website updates until the ECMWF is fully out. And uh, that won't be until after 7 o'clock and I haven't got time to wait until then. So this is what the ECMWF was showing this morning uh, in terms of Thursday. So here's all of the rain piling into Ireland and the far southwest of England uh, on Thursday morning. Uh, and then it actually, sorry, that's today. So this is the wet weather that's clearing away today. Moves out of the way, uh, it gets into the North Sea. And then this is the wet weather coming in from the southwest on Thursday. This is through Thursday morning. Heavy snow into Republic of Ireland, rain in the far southwest of England. And then a real snow event through much of Wales, the Midlands, and eastern uh, England over towards. East Anglia during the course of Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. That snow pushing north into northern England, kind of like uh, dying out as it does so. So the ECMWF this morning was going for a very significant uh, snow event. Let's just see if we can uh, go to weather.us and see what it's showing now as it's updating. So these are the snow depths charts from the midday run of the ECMWF. You just have to refresh uh, the page. So this is the snow depth that it's going for at midday tomorrow. Very patchy snow across uh, some southeastern central parts of the country. Primarily um, primarily from tonight's snow. We've got deeper snow up in the north and the west. Let's go through to the early hours of Friday. And if we've had a snow event uh, Thursday to Friday, we should see signs of uh, fairly deepish snow. Let's see what it's showing. And that's it. So it is going for still quite a significant snow event across parts, so particularly Wales and southwestern England, also over towards the Midlands and some parts of southern England as well. I think it may well have trended that low pressure just a little bit further south on the midday run of the ECMWF compared to the uh, midnight run 
of the E7. It might have just trended him out a little bit further south. So it's actually going for really quite deep today in the far south of the country, uh, more than, say, uh, Wales of the Middles, where Wales is quite well covered. So there's a little bit of change is still going on with the position of this low pressure and its weather fronts. Um, but the upshot is it does look as though there's a much greater potential for significant and, I dare say, disruptive snow on Thursday afternoon across parts of Wales, South West England, and then further north and east was other parts of Wales, the Midlands, Central Southern England, East Anglia, potentially the southeast of England. Disruptive snowfall is possible. We may go up to five to ten centimetres uh, quite widely. Just a big case of how far north this gets. Some of the models are getting this snow up to the North Midlands and into Northern England. Other models are restricting it quite a bit further south. So, as ever, with these low pressure, they tend to be trended south by model output the closer you get to it. So I would go more towards the side of this being further south um, than some of those models are pushing up to Northern England. But we should wait and see. Do another snow watch tomorrow and we'll bring you up to date uh, then. Right, so uh, a little bit of snow around tonight. If you get it, then enjoy it and uh, take care in the morning. It'll be very icy, uh, cold, dangerous conditions, really, in the morning on untreated roads and pavements, I'm afraid. Uh, and then all eyes will be on uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, into the early hours of Friday for the, another perhaps more widespread snow event. OK, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.